Have you ever wondered, what is sin according to Jesus? How did he define it and who did he consider to be sinners? Welcome to another enlightening video where we delve deeper into these intriguing questions. In the eyes of Jesus, sin isn't simply about breaking rules or crossing lines. It's far more profound. Sin, as Jesus understood it, is any action, thought, or attitude that is contrary to God's nature and his desire for our lives. It's a disruption of the relationship between God and us, his children. Jesus often used parables to illustrate his teachings, and his perspective on sin was no different. Take, for instance, the parable of the prodigal son. Here, Jesus doesn't just focus on the son's sinful actions of squandering his inheritance, but more on his attitude of selfishness and disregard for his father's love. The son's true sin was his rejection of his father's values and love. Similarly, in the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector, Jesus points out that it's not the tax collector's profession that makes him a sinner, but the Pharisee's self-righteousness and lack of humility before God. In Jesus' eyes, sin was less about specific actions and more about the condition of the heart. Jesus also emphasized the importance of love and forgiveness in overcoming sin. He taught that harboring hatred, bitterness, or an unforgiving spirit can lead to sin. Just as importantly, he showed us that God's grace and forgiveness are always available to those who sincerely seek it. So who are the sinners according to Jesus? It's not just those who commit obvious wrongs, but those who harbor negative attitudes, those who fail to live in love, and those who reject God's ways. But remember, Jesus also taught that everyone has the capacity to turn away from their sins and be reconciled to God. In conclusion, according to Jesus, sin is more than just wrong actions. It's a state of the heart and mind, a rejection of God's love and his ways, and a failure to live in love and humility. But through God's grace and forgiveness, we can overcome our sins and restore our relationship with him. To recap, we've explored the concept of sin as Jesus understood it, focusing on its deeper aspects beyond mere actions. We've looked at two of Jesus' parables to illustrate this and discuss the importance of love, humility, and forgiveness in overcoming sin. Finally, we've seen that while we all have the capacity to sin, we also have the capacity to seek and receive God's forgiveness. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. If you found this video helpful, do share it with others who might benefit from it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our latest videos. Until next time, keep seeking, keep questioning, and keep growing in your understanding. Moving forward, let's delve deeper into a crucial teaching of Jesus that ties in perfectly with our previous discussion. Jesus reminds us that we are all sinners, and therefore we should not judge or condemn others. He famously said, let him who is without sin among you be the first to throw a stone at her. John 8, 7. This profound statement underscores the importance of self-awareness and empathy in our dealings with others. It reminds us that we too are fallible and have our own sins to contend with. Before we rush to judge or condemn others for their transgressions, we should first take a hard look at ourselves. Are we without sin? If not, then we have no right to cast the first stone. Moreover, Jesus also warns us sternly about causing others to sin. He emphasizes that we must be careful not to lead others astray with our actions or words. This reinforces the idea that our actions have consequences not just for us, but for those around us as well. In essence, Jesus is calling us to a higher standard of behavior, one that is rooted in love, humility, and understanding, rather than judgment and condemnation. It's a reminder to be compassionate and forgiving, just as God is with us. As we continue on our spiritual journey, let's keep these words of wisdom in mind. Remember not to judge others hastily, be aware of your own shortcomings and strive to lead a life that encourages others to walk on the path of righteousness rather than driving them away from it.